ESS Connect, Connect, and this them for chat about. Chat, 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 chat. This is Peter Metro. You don't know Peter Clark, born and grown in Kingston, Jamaica, West Kingston. Grew up in Jonestown. Me and my way, I go to OG, Mr. Farrow style, and G2 Jelly, and Little Love for that Metro, Kawaii T. I come from a very small family at that time, you know, you know, and I was born in wedlock, you know, see, my father and my mother, you know, they married and, you know, my father used to work at Sherrington Hotel before it named Wyndham, you know, and my mother was a dressmaker during them time. It was about, you know, because see, a family of about five of us, Pete, me, Peter Metro, Squidly Rankin, my brother Trevor, my father and my mother. After time, my mother and my father get separated, you know. And my mother said, all right, you go and live with your father, you know. And my next brother live with she and my next brother go a country. But I was back and forth from my father to my mother, father to my mother, you know. And then after time, my mother said, all right, Peter, you come stay with me. So many of the time, most of the time I spend with my mother. You know, cause my mother did live in Jonestown. You know, my father lived downtown Kingston in Love Lane. Back in them days there, it is kinda rough because to be frank with you, Jonestown, Craig Town and Arnett Garden is like one community. And during them days growing up in Jonestown, we consider the community as a garrison community. You know, there are times when the community cool and there are times when violence flare up political war between Jonestown and 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 Rima jungle and Rima Craig Town and man from Denham Town all sort of you know political war you know I think was Michael Manley was the prime minister at the time and he was linking with Cuba and you find that America never like you know how Jamaica I play a close role with Cuba so they try to bring down the Prime Minister which is Michael Manley at the time there is emerging in the third world a new kind of international relationship because we have all shared the experience of domination all third world countries begin with a first commitment to the preservation of their own national sovereignty and to the development of a principle of non-interference in their internal affairs. I remember them days, man, sometimes even you could even get rice for buy a supermarket car, rice married with flour, flour married with a tin of milk and you understand, but it did rough, you know, so political flare up all over in Kingston, especially in Jonestown and Trenchtown. But apart from that, you know, we enjoy ourselves as youth growing up in the community community because we never try to get involved in no form of criminal activity or no form of, you know, crime and violence during them time. Music was always my aim. The big youth was my first inspiration, you know, and during them days I want to be just like big youth. Against the Lord God Jarastafara and against his anointed saints, now come let us break their bands asunder and cast away the cards from us. The only the seed that in his heaven shall love, the Lord God Jarastafara shall have them in his region. So going to school and all them time, I used to love DJ concert and go on concert and perform and all them little thing. At one point, me did have a little dance group. You know, me and my friend them have a dance group in school. You know, see till my father and my mother, you know, get me on a scholarship, send me on to Cuba. You know, because my father said, look, you know, this music thing now go work because. In them days, your parents not really see music as nothing, you know. You understand? The mothers are say, try and take you in your education, go get something in your head. You understand what I mean? So, you know, but me love the music more than anything else because big youth was my inspiration. Kiss I the sun and let's see the anger. 
but perish from his ways when his wrath is king of us a little. And so blessed be all. When I returned back to Jamaica from Cuba, you know, I start to DJ, find myself with a sound system named Stats sound system in, in, in Junestown, you know, and the selector at that time was a guy named Lita. So Lita was the one that said, Peter, we know you can DJ because I'm here, me in the community at DJ all the while. So I said, come and start sound system and start DJ. So I start DJ and start sound system, me and the next guy named Dickie Rankin, which now known as Snagapus, you know, that is in 1981 when we start to DJ and start sound system. To be frank with you, Stats never have enough dates to play out like how other sound would play out. So a member from Stat Sound System take me, you know, and say, you know what? I'm going to carry to a sound where it play all about a little sound. And so that guy introduced me now to Metro Media. That is when me go to Metro Media now. Me leave Stat Sound System now and go to Metro Media. And from there until today is just Peter Metro. But before I named Peter Metro, I used to name Peter Rankin because Rankin was at the time a pure bad DJ named Rankin. Trevor Rankin, you know, Louis Rankin, all kind of, it's just Rankin around. So me call myself Peter Rankin. But to be frank with you, there was a Peter Rankin already living in Greenwich Farm. So it started to cause a problem because the people must say, you know, you're about a boy, we are DJ in a Spanish, and him named Peter Rankin. Him body now, and him must say Peter Rankin. But now Greenwich farm Peter Rankin come from. Peter Rankin can't talk Spanish. So it started to cause a vibes now. So I say, you know what? Mm? I forgot to change my name. So I saw me change my name now. That's what the Rankin and call myself Peter Metro because at that time, as I said before, you know, I start to work with Metro Media and a DJ from Metro Media. So I take the Metro from the Metro Media and call myself Peter Metro. DJ on Metro Media now. I met Yellow Man before that. Because Yellow Man was at the Evelyn Tide home at the time and we were all DJing in Jonestown. Them time, once it passed six o'clock, you cannot come out from the Evelyn Tide home. The Evelyn Tide home was a place for, you know, homeless people. You understand what I mean? People orphaned, you know, because you know Yellow Man was an orphan. So Yellow Man come through the back fence and start to DJ with me and Dickie Rankin and the whole away. So that is when I meet Yellow Man. I met Yellow Man in them times from youth days in a Jonestown. So Yellow Man and me, you know, start to DJ in the community. And then when we get established on Metro Media, every now and then, Yellow Man would pass through Metro Media. Because you have some guys, you know, who used to scan Yellow Man in the community, never want Yellow Man to DJ and the sound in the community that was a little sound called um, Black Ark. Once Yellow Man hold the mic, them scan him. But you know, Peter Metro was always there for King Yellow Man. <laughs> Me 